Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about reliable conservative news media sources. Now, if you're liberal, you might be like, oh, anything conservative is unreliable. I don't believe this. I'm pretty moderate. And I think that there's a wide range of the quality of news sources, both in left-biased and right-biased news media sources. First, before I give you any specifics, I want to talk about this website I really like. It's called Media Bias Fact Check, and it collects and compiles data on a whole bunch of different news sources, and it ranks them both by the liberal and conservative bias, and by the quality of the factual reporting. So it has this separate left-right scale and fact quality. So, for example, you might have one source that is, like, New York Times, I think it rates as leaning left, like slight, a slight left bias, but having high quality factual reporting. Um, I think Wall Street Journal, it says leans right, but also it rates as high quality. Two of the conservative sources that I hear about the most, especially talking to liberals, are Fox News and Breitbart News. And so Fox News is this TV network that also publishes written pieces online, and both of these sources are rated quite poorly by this site. They're in the category of mixed for factual reporting. Now, if you, if you check the rankings on this site, it's actually pretty bad to get ranked in the mixed category. So I really don't recommend either of those. Um, of the two of them, I think Breitbart is a little bit more alarmist and inflammatory. So I think it's kind of a shame that a lot of people out there think of Fox and Breitbart as the sort of go-to conservative sources. Um, I don't ever go to them if I want to get anything reliable. Like, if I actually care about the stuff being factually er accurate, I'm not going to look at either of those sources. So what do I consult? Well, it depends. If you want to get a sort of far-right, very conservative perspective, or a sort of center-right perspective, a more moderate conservative perspective. One of the newspapers that uh, I really like that has a sort of center-right bias is called Washington Times. And just to give you an idea of like kind of how far conservative and liberal it goes, uh, it published a piece some time back that was talking about how homosexuality is not a choice, and there's overwhelming evidence supporting this, and so they're kind of working to break down some of the worst homophobia that you see, and like untruthful ideas you see circulating in some right-wing circles. But at the same time, they don't, they don't seem to attack conservative political candidates anywhere near as harshly as most of the mainstream media does. So if you want like a more center-right right, uh, source, that's a good one to go to. If you want more analysis, and a similar sort of center-right bias, there's also this one called the Washington Examiner, and that's more about politics, and it really goes in more depth about what's going on. Now, another sort of center-right-ish bias that you might have is a libertarian bias. And if you're looking for a libertarian bias, there are two things I recommend. One is Reason Magazine, which is, it's kind of the libertarian magazine in the U.S., and it has a lot of news on its website. It has a very clear bias, but they're open about the perspective that they're coming from. Another libertarian one that I think is a little bit more reliable than uh, Reason Magazine is the Cato Institute. This is like a research think tank, and again, it's coming from a libertarian perspective, but its stuff tends to be pretty well researched, and so it has like policy standpoints and uh, sort of d deeper analysis about policy and things like that. So these are the sort of center-right sources. What if you want to go even more conservative, but you don't really want to be in the loony bin? Like, you want to be reading something that is at least sticking to the facts, and maybe it has a pretty strong bias, but it's not going to be publish publishing stuff that's overtly factually untrue. There are a few things I would point you to, and it sort of depends on what perspective you want to read. Uh, one thing that I'm sort of uncomfortable with all of these sources from time to time, but I do check them out. 
One thing that I'd point to is National Review. National Review is very right-wing, but I find that it's more reliable than any of the other things that are as far-right biased as it is. So if you want something that is pretty far-right, but still factually sound, and, and offers some viewpoints that I agree with from time to time, I recommend checking out National Review. Incidentally, they are highly critical of the current president, uh, President Trump. They have not really been a fan of him from the start, and I think that's one thing that makes me trust them a little bit more than some of these other sources. A source that is even more conservative than them that I don't really read, but it's like if you want to go more conservative, and again you want it to be more factual than something like Breitbart, uh, I'd recommend checking out The Federalist. I don't really read it though, it's way too conservative for me. Uh, one last one that I want to mention is called The Weekly Standard, and this is like a neoconservative uh, publication. I really don't like neoconservatism. Neoconservatism is it's basically this ideology that combines social conservatism with this idea of having a strong military and the U.S. being a sort of dominant superpower. And it's that ideology that got us into the second Iraq war. Like, a lot of George W. Bush's advisors were steeped in that ideology. So I don't like that ideology. But if you're gonna read something that is coming from that standpoint and that's a little bit more reasonable, I think the Weekly Standard is, it's about as reasonable as you can get within that perspective. So that's basically what I have to say. I'm going to put links to all of these things in the description of the video. Why do I think this is important? Well, I think it's important whether you're liberal, conservative, or moderate. Like, if you're moderate, like me, you probably want to consult a lot of different viewpoints. If you're liberal, I think it's really important to not misrepresent and misunderstand conservative viewpoints. And if all you watch is Fox News or read Breitbart News online, those are just, I think they're pretty much garbage sources. You can't trust the stuff that you find on them. A lot of it is really inflammatory. And I don't care if a lot of people trust those sources. I don't think they accurately represent conservative ideology. I think they misrepresent it, and I think a lot of the problems in our society right now are due to the fact that the Republican Party has gone off the deep end. I think that if we were to give more of a voice, more of an influence to these more factual conservative sources, whether the center-right ones or the far-right ones, I think it would fix a lot of the problems in our society, and specifically a lot of the problems you see within conservatism, within the Republican Party. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's basically what I have to say. Uh, I hope you've gained something. I hope you check out some of these news media and find something useful and interesting in them. Thank you.